This Levi's supplier factory in Mexico is at an intersection of past and future. These workers are manually sanding hundreds of pairs of jeans to give them that beloved worn-in look. This is one of the most time-consuming and physically intense parts of making jeans. It can vary from 20 minutes to 30 in some cases. On the other side of the factory, these laser machines can complete the same job in just 90 seconds. The lasers are a critical part of Levi's plan to cut weeks, even months, off their production time. It can put the finishing touches on only as needed, and that lets it respond to market faster, meaning less waste and fatter profits. Just about every brand today is trying to figure out how to operate like a fast fashion company. Many are looking to high-tech solutions, like lasers, automation, 3D knitting, and printing. Together, these technologies show a new way forward for the notoriously low-tech industry, which for decades has relied on cheap manual labor. We're on the cusp of a new era in fashion manufacturing, one where customized clothes can be mass-produced. I'm Mark Bain. This is Quartz. Please subscribe to our channel. In the 1970s, the president of the Blue Jeans Corporation, William J. Bank, said we would have a man on Mars sooner than full automation in fashion. He hasn't been proven wrong yet. Fashion is decades behind industries like electronics and cars when it comes to automation. But the rise of e-commerce and social media in the past decade has transformed fashion. There's currently a huge gap between how slow it is to produce clothes and how fast trends come and go. With social media, shoppers see every new trend the moment it appears. They've been trained by fast fashion and e-commerce to expect instantaneous access. A lot of the industry has struggled to keep up. It's no surprise that over the past, you know, five to 10 years, retail, apparel, footwear has been completely shaken up. This is Edward Hertzman. He's the president of a trade publication about fashion supply chain. Why is it important for brands to speed up? So I think we kind of reached a turning point, right? It used to be chasing the cheapest needle was the recipe for, you know, being a profitable apparel company. Today, it's how do we make a, a style, get it into the store very quickly, test it. And if it doesn't work, well, we don't have a huge liability. We have to look at speed and money as one and the same. And that's a problem for old, slow fashion brands. With the traditional manufacturing model, Brands invest a lot of money up front to design and produce a big collection. They send large orders to factories, often overseas. Start to finish, the process takes months. In those months, consumers may have moved on to the next new thing. That's a lot of risk for brands because unsold clothes get marked down, eating into profits. But if brands can respond faster, they can produce less up front and quickly restock the stuff that's popular. The goal is to shift from a model of make and then sell to sell and then make. One technology helping to make this model possible is 3D knitting. Hi. Hi, hi. I'm Mark. Hi, Ato, nice to meet you. Welcome nice to, to you. Uh, Shimaseki USA. Shimaseki is a Japanese company that's a leader in 3D knitting technology. It makes machines like this one right here. So this is the final piece, uh, but uh, when it's being knitted out, you can see it coming down from the machine as such. Traditionally, you would knit the parts of a sweater separately and then sew them together. 3D knitting produces the sweater as one entire piece, no sewing required. It's a completely three-dimensional garment from start to finish. Yes, exactly. The knit is designed digitally, and the machine does nearly all the work. Only three to four workers are needed to wash the garment, put on labels, and package it. Big brands like Uniqlo and Patagonia are already using 3D knitting, and Hayato's jacket is made by a brand called Ministry of Supply, which has a Shimaseki machine in one of its stores, so it can produce customized jackets on demand. But 3D knitting and lasers only address specific challenges, like knitting and denim distressing. That's great if you're making sweaters and jeans, but there's one fundamental part of clothes making that's been surprisingly hard to automate. Sewing. We have been doing sewing the same way with minor automations for the last 30 years. One big reason is that fabrics are soft, flimsy, and difficult for machines to handle. But at least one startup claims to have cracked the problem. Oh, I really should have ironed this. This is John Zornow. 
founder of startup Sobo. He's giving a demo to a garment factory in New Jersey interested in learning more about the tech. According to John, this sort of sloppy shirt he's holding is the future of how clothes could be made. This shirt is actually the world's first robotically sewn garment. We were able to put this together using our stiffening technique, kind of on an ad hoc uh, experimental basis, just as a proof of concept. It's not the prettiest stitching, I'll be honest. You're right, but these are all things that uh, are improved with calibration and uh, are actually you know, much further advanced by now. His solution is stiffening the fabric with a thin layer of plastic so existing robots can handle it. After it's sewn, a quick soak in hot water removes the coating. Automated sewing and 3D knitting won't just make manufacturing faster. They help brands make small batches of clothes fast and cheaply. That makes it possible to produce customized clothing on a mass scale. Customers are demanding more and more personalized items or customized pieces, so uh, our technology really is a great way to cater to that market because we can really produce the products in real time. This move toward affordable clothes made fast to your specific measurements is one of the most exciting things happening in the industry. It's great for shoppers, and it's also great for brands because they're not producing big piles of inventory in advance, and there's less risk of returns. I got a little taste of what that future looks like. This is not a look inspired by contemporary art. This is the future of fashion, at least according to Japan's largest fashion e-commerce site. Uh, let me explain. This polka dot suit is part of a custom fit technology developed by Japan's leading online fashion e-commerce company, Zozo Town. An app reads the markers on the suit to create a 3D model of your body. You are in the perfect position. From there, Zozo promises to deliver affordable custom fit clothes in up to two weeks through partially automated production. The concept is still in its early stages and styles are limited, but the end goal is ambitious. So is the ultimate goal to just get rid of standard off the rack sizing altogether? Absolutely. That's not about to become standard in fashion anytime soon, but it's a glimpse at how brands are looking to the future. It's 2018 we already have a plan to send a human to Mars. Just how far are we from fully automating fashion manufacturing? People do disagree, you know, that we're two, three years away from a completely automated supply chain. Some people will say we're 10 years away. Labor costs are going up, raw material costs are going up, just overall cost of doing business is going up. There has to be a change. There's no way around it. Are you ready for a custom wardrobe made on demand? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel and look out next week for a video about what cars are actually made in America in the era of global trade.